sound does a wife make when she is being abused by her husband? He was fine before the papers were signed. Then he promptly took his nice guy mask off, revealing a monster named Misery. To her, it was a mystery. And naturally, she kept hope that one day the he that he introduced her to would come back to his senses and stop acting senseless. Time passes. She's waiting, but still no mercy. Little does she know that he ain't got no plans to stop treating her like his number one enemy and that his daily pleasure is to dress her in cruelty. And he assumes that she's supposed to take it and submit just because she got his last name. It allows him for a moment to stop focusing on the fact that he's actually a lame. While he's dripping in delusion, what sound does an abused wife make when she's done daydreaming about maybe one day he'll get better? <laughs> uh, she prays, Lord, how could I keep giving everything within me when in the end I'm always left broken and empty? I spoke once and I spoke twice telling him about the things that he does that are not nice. I spoke twice and even thrice. He just dismissed my advice. I cried out to you for things to improve, but that man's heart just keeps getting harder. Lord, I know you see this marriage is weaker than an Apple product charger. What God put together, let no man put asunder. But his matrimony was not. But this matrimony was not put together by the Most High. And I know my God don't like divorce. I know I don't either. Oh snap! Oh snap! Okay, yeah, the the, the, the yeah. My bad. I thought I, I lost myself. My bad. Um, I know my God don't like divorce, I know I don't either, but my supposed husband is trying to drive me insane. My brain and my body could never get accustomed to this level of poison and pain. So embarrassing and unbearable that in my mind it was better that I prayed to pass away. I wasn't down to delete my life, but I can't afford to chill wiping my way to the grave. Throughout all the yelling and insulting and abusing, I know my God was not pleased. And I finally concluded <laughs> when, uh, like, sorry, <laughs> and I finally concluded <laughs> We don't need a scripture. Uh, you don't need a scripture to confirm that if a man puts his hands on you, baby girl, leave. It's either repent and remain and yield to the variations of violence, or repent and yield to rectification through divorce. I gotta thank God for the grace to break free from that mental prison of legalism within religion. I received forgiveness, and I went with my redeemer's best option. Amen. Amen.